Hi folks, it's Gordon here, hope all is well with you. Coughed right at the beginning of the live video there, but it doesn't matter, because you can do that on live videos. It's one of the reasons I've always liked live videos. And I've called this video Live Painting Gulp, Live Painting Series. And I suppose I could call it Season 1, Episode 1, because I've not done live painting before. And I'm still not sure if it's going to work or not, but it could be fun to try, couldn't it, to see if it works or not. And the sun is out today here in uh, South London in the UK, which is not bad for the uh, last knockings of November. And I thought I would do some live paintings because my painting videos normally are, well, now I've sort of refined the process. So I don't like to go over 10 minutes maximum. Um, so I speed bits up, I delete all the stuff that isn't actually painting, put a nice bit of music behind it that I like, pay to license the music. Um, and it gives what I call an extra bang for the buck for the painting, because it's a little, I enjoy the creating and people are kind enough to say they enjoy watching the finished videos. It's another piece of art in itself, in addition to the actual painting. So that's why I do them, because they're good fun. But because I've refined it down to a 10 minute finished product now, it doesn't have any of the rest of it in. The boring bits, the bits that I have to take out. Now that's one of the reasons why I thought, well should I do a live video then? Because if, it, if I take out the boring bits, and the bits that aren't actually really that, you know, the mundane stuff, why would people want to see that live? Well, because it means that I can show the actual full process behind a 10 minute painting and do some talking over the top because there's no talking in my finished 10 minute ones with the music in the background. I can maybe explain what I'm doing if people might like to see that. And live, doing it live, I might be able to, I'll leave in the mistakes and the bits that go wrong. Which again, when the, when the finished video, you, I don't say I, the bits that might have gone wrong, I, I might still have left, it, left them in there, but I won't say where they've gone. That one, for example, that painting of a tree up in the north of England. When I was painting that, I made a massive mistake and was I toyed for a long time whether to just be in the painting because some paintings I do don't turn out well at all in my view and I never show them. So in amongst all the paintings that you would have seen and the videos that you would have seen, there are paintings that I don't show because I just, I don't like them. They haven't turned out how I wanted. I don't consider them to be recoverable. So I don't bother. So, this painting, some paintings, I, I don't really know where they're going to go. This one, some I have got an idea in mind. This one that I'm going to do, I have got an idea in mind. And it's a part of, it's going to be part of a series to go with that one. That is acrylic, well they're all acrylic on mine, on the canvas panel board, nice and thin. And this is, a, this is 10 by 10 inches. I have been sort of getting used to, I prefer to use an 8x8 canvas, which is what that is, uh, 20 by 20 centimetres. This is 10 by 10 canvas, 25 by 25 centimetres. It doesn't really matter uh, when it comes to prints, for example, because you can do a smaller original and make a larger print, and you could do a larger print and a, a larger original and make a smaller print. It doesn't really matter. They've both got swings and roundabouts. But this was a series, um, I've done a couple of these so far. Now these, well, I call them bubbles, but they're not really bubbles, they're sort of droplets, aren't they? I learned how to do these from watching videos from a Czech artist called Veronica Mikhailova. And she goes by, by the name of Me, M-I-I, -I, on her paintings. Create With Me is her YouTube channel. And she shows how to do these. Now she originally started doing these bubbles, drops, as an embellishment to, she does pouring painting, these pouring videos. 
And pouring paintings I really like, but they're messy to do and you're not in control of what happens and there is a certain amount of skill required to get the some of the um, the ingredients right in what you're pouring. I, I just prefer acrylic because you've got a bit more control over what you're doing and they're less messy. So I did that one and it turned out nicely. And then I did a, a one with different colours, which I quite liked as well. So they've ended up as a, as a little series. Hang on, is that one upside down now? Oh, I don't know, no. So I thought I would do another one in that series or to make a series. So that's the plan for this painting that I'm doing. Um, and I, I'm in, planning to do it in what I call an Eric Morecambe rainbow, similar to that. Now, these video, this video live, when I'm doing it this way round, using this camera, is mirror image. So the actual painting is mm, that way. Mm, yeah, well, it's mirror image. So instead of uh, yellow, orange, red, green, blue, indigo, violet, which is the normal rainbow sequence, Richard of York goes battling in vain. And Eric Morecambe rainbow has all the right colours, not necessarily in the right order. Which is from Eric Morecambe um, connection, comedian in the UK. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you can message me or look it up on, in YouTube. Um, so this one has got uh, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. So it's sort of got half the rainbow chopped and then flipped. I've seen that color scheme in a few paintings and when I saw it, I thought I'd quite like to use it. So this is an Eric Morgan rainbow color scheme. And I'm planning to use this 10 by 10 canvas to do an Eric Morgan rainbow of that type of painting to make a series. So I'm going to try and keep these live videos under 10 minutes because certain video, certain social media platforms don't like you or don't let you go over 10 minutes. So 10 minutes and attention span wise, you might want to watch my videos for hours. That would be nice. But even in 10 minute gaps, they're nice little segments, I think, to go for. So I'm going to stop this video um, because it's the first one as a sort of introduction to me doing live videos at all and also as an introduction to this one about what my plan is for this particular painting. So let me know what you think. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Uh, if you're going to follow along, leave your comments below wherever you have to be seeing this video. Signing off for now, wishing you as ever health and happiness and I look forward to Seeing you next time for part two, where I think I'm going to actually start doing some painting. Gulp.